good morning and welcome back in the lecture series of uh, industrial automation and uh, robotics so today we are going to discuss very important part of the robotics this is the robot motion analysis as you know that when we think about the motion analysis of uh, any mechanism there are basically we have to calculate the position representation so what is this position representation let us try to understand that just like a four bar mechanism or four bar mechanism uh, five bar mechanism we can first analyze the position of the linkages in the space or you can say you have to use the concept of the cartesian coordinate system and find out the position of each link in the space and develop some mathematical equations for the calculation of the output link with the reference of the input link okay or you can find out the position of the coupler of over mechanism with respect to the fixed fixed link so similar kind of uh, analysis we have to do here as you know that uh, there are two type of robots one is the open chain link mechanism and the second is the closed link mechanism so in the mostly we use the open link mechanism for the robot manipulator now you can observe here that see uh, the basically if you want to analyze the 2r robot this is a 2r robot means there are two rotational links and uh, this is slightly uh, more difficult to analyze as compared to the two linear robots and uh, because since we, we use this type of uh, mechanism frequently or this configuration is uh, mostly used in the manufacturing of the robot manipulator or the extension of it so we have to go for the consideration of uh, this type of uh, linkage system for the position representation so you can observe here that in this figure there are two links which are connected with each other one is uh, one revolute joint is here which is attached with the frame of the or base of the robot and uh, this is a link one and the link 2 is connected with the link 1 with the another uh, rotational joint so there are two rotational joints so that's why it is called as or its uh, terminology is used to our robot right so there are two initial angles say theta 1 and theta 2 and uh, the end effector is having a point pw which is again defined with the help of cartesian coordinate x and y uh, diagram also means this is your uh, you can say that uh, the joint space and this is the world space so if you consider the motion from the uh, joint space to the world space this is called as the forward transformation but suppose if the world space position is given and you want to calculate the relative angle theta 1 and theta 2 or moving to the joint space this is called as the reverse or inverse transformation or its kinematics okay so while taking the uh, this uh, two degree of freedom arm we have to first calculate the forward transformation matrices or forward transformation equations so we can define the position of the end of the arm in the world space by defining a vector for link one and another for link two so you just take the reference of these uh, this uh, figure and find out the uh, this uh, r1 first vector this is equals depends upon the l1 cos theta 1 and l1 sin theta 1 similarly you can calculate the r2 this is equals to l2 plus cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 if you add these two equations equation number 1 and vector uh, 2 find out the coordinate of x and y of the end of the arm it means the position of point pw in the world space this can be find out x equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and y can be calculated l1 sin theta 1 and uh, l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 okay uh, means you can take this reference here also because uh, this l1 and l2 when these can be calculated and you can find out the position of point B in the world space X and Y coordinates so this is equals to L1 cos theta 1 and plus L2 cos theta 1 
plus theta 2. So you can find out this equation mathematically with the help of the geometry or configuration of the two link robot. And similarly you can calculate the position of y also L1 sin theta 1 sin theta 1 plus L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2. So these equation 3 and 4 can be defined to um, uh, find out the position of the end factor in the world space. While in the case of the reverse kinematics, you can say that the arm of the point P indicating two possible configuration to achieve the position. Suppose if you want to achieve this position point P and the Cartesian coordinates X and Y are given, right? So you have to calculate the reverse configuration of the link 1 and link 2. It means you have to calculate the angle theta 1 and theta 2. So you may have two possible configuration. One is this one and the second is this one. So here in this case, if this configuration is achieved, this is a positive theta 2. Whereas if this configuration, uh, the other configuration is achieved, then this angle theta 2 will be negative here. So uh, we can write uh, the equation number 3 and 4 as uh, if you opened out these through two equations means L2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 we have to apply the um, formula cos A plus B uh, and sin A plus B a simple mathematics here you can apply here and you can rewrite these equation 3 and 4 x equal to L1 cos theta 1 plus L2 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus L2 sin theta 1 sin theta 2 and similarly you can explore this equation or expand this equation y this is equals to L1 sin theta 1 plus L2 sin theta 1 cos theta 2 plus L2 sin theta 2 cos theta 1. Now you can square these both sides and adding these two equations can be find out the angle theta 2. So cos theta 2 can be calculated here this is equals to x square plus y square minus l1 square minus l2 square divided by 2 l1 l2. This is a, a simple mathematics and you can find out uh, by solving the previous uh, equation to uh, these two equations and calculate theta 2. Now, if we take, suppose if we join the uh, joint 1 and the position of the end factor of this point with the help of this dotted line you can find out the two angles say angle theta alpha and uh, this angle beta right so angle alpha is the angle with the position of the link l1 whereas the angle beta is from the axis or you can say that uh, the reference axis x and this beta can be calculated so we have to define first this angle alpha and beta. So with the help of this mathematics, you can find out, uh, develop this equation that uh, suppose if we take that uh, the distance uh, of this point x, it means this x can be find out in this uh, larger triangle, this triangle, larger triangle, you can find out this position x and this position y. Similarly, if you consider the second small triangle, you can find out the value of uh, this triangle is x and this angle y. So uh, here uh, you can say that uh, tan alpha can be find out in this smaller triangle and you consider this triangle right and this triangle can be calculated y1 divided by l1 plus x1 right. This, this distance is x1. and since you can calculate from the geometry of this triangle, you can easily calculate the value of y1 and x1. y1 equals to L2 sin theta 2 and uh, x1 is equals to L2 cos theta 2. So once you calculate y1 and x1, you can find out the value of 10 alpha equals to y1 divided by L1 plus x1. So you can put the value of y1 and x1 in this equation. You will find out that 10 alpha equals to L2 sin theta 2 divided by L1 plus L2 cos theta 2. So this value comes here. First you calculate the angle theta alpha and then you can calculate the angle beta. So the tan beta equals to y divided by x. It means this perpendicular upon base. So uh, 
we want to calculate here the angle theta 1 with respect to the angle beta and angle alpha. So this theta 1 can be simply calculated from the geometry or this configuration of the uh, 2R robot. This can be calculated equals to beta minus alpha. So theta 1 equals to beta minus alpha. So you can find out here that 10 this uh, formula trigonometry identity 10 a plus min a minus b equals to 10 a minus 10 b divided by 1 plus 10 a and 10 b. So uh, 10 theta 1 can be calculated this equals to 10 beta minus alpha and you can explore this equation and find out this angle theta 1 10 theta 1 equals to y into l2 cos theta 2 plus l1 minus x into l2 sin theta 2 divided by x plus l2 cos theta 2 plus l1 plus y l2 sin theta 2. So this angle theta 1 can be calculated. So if you know the value of uh, link length it means l1 and l2 we will be able to calculate the required joint angle to place the arm at the position of x and y in the world space. It means our ultimate goal for the calculation of the reverse kinematics you should know what angle theta 1 is uh, calculated and what is the position of the angle theta 2. This can be cal calculated. The joint uh, this uh, 3. So x3 y3 can be find out. It means uh, in case of uh, uh, you can say that reverse kinematics you can apply here this uh, position. Uh, x3 and y3 can be calculated if you know that the position of uh, x and y coordinate of the uh, end effector. So this can be find out. x3 can be find out. y3 can be find out easily. Uh, x4, x4 and y4 and z4 of joint 4 can be calculated with reference of the position of the end effector x, y, z. So if this position is known, x, y and z is known, you can easily find out x4, y4, z4 coordinate of this joint 4. It can be calculated, x4 can be calculated x minus, this is a cos theta L4 cos y and uh, similarly you can find out y4 equals to y minus sin theta L4 cos phi as an example. Right, and the remaining procedure is just like a previous example which we have already discussed. So Z4 can be calculated Z minus L4 sin phi. So the values of L phi and theta can be also computed. This is equals to uh, the inverse of uh, X4 square plus Y4 square plus Z4 minus L1 ka whole square. So here the sin theta phi can also calculated Z4 minus L1 divided by from the geometry of the robot configuration and uh, similarly you can calculate cos theta this is equals to y4 divided by L. So uh, this is basically the entire uh, you can say that the position analysis of uh, uh, 4 uh, R or 4 uh, uh, you can say that uh, is a mechanism. So thank you very much in the next class we will discuss the robot uh, homogeneous transformation to define the robot kinematics. Thank you very much.